Okay. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Elden Ring on the PC. Part 55, I think. <laughs> oh, crazy shit. So, yes, we are a different build yet again. I think this is the best one yet. Not to say that it's like insane. I can't believe how obscenely powerful this is. Although, I think I'm missing some of the really high end, like crazy sorceries. Because <clears throat> I didn't look into where to get any of them. So, that's one thing. But overall, pretty damn powerful. So our moon... I'm just calling it the Moonlight Greatsword. I don't care. Uh, it's at plus nine now. It's got B scaling with intelligence. So it's really just an int weapon. And uh, yeah, this thing's pretty good. Cannot complain about this. Then we have the Carrion Glintstone Staff. S scaling with int. Boost Carrion Sword Sorcery. And uh, you see its sorcery scaling is right at 258 now, which is definitely higher than the Meteorite Staff. The reason the Meteorite Staff is so good right at the start is because it has 226 scaling right out the gate. And it boosts Gravity Sorcery, which is the Rock Sling that you get right next to it. So yeah, it's an extremely powerful start if you bum rush that. But... Now, this uh, surpasses it, so it's all good. Um, as for spells, so I did some, some, some testing with the spells that I had, and I actually bought this one off of Selin, I think her name is. The Comet Shard. Basically, the Great Bow has the largest range, which makes sense, so that's really useful for sniping. The Adula's Moonblade, especially with this staff that boosts the Karian Sword Sorceries, which I believe this is, uh, this one's pretty good. Um, especially because it's such a wide angle, so you can really just slash through a big group, and uh, it has like the frost thing as well, and you can chain it, so it's pretty good. Um, Roxling is just pretty solid. For just a cheap spell. Obviously. Um, Comet. Now this is the big boy. That I actually. I have enough int now. With the uh, talisman on. I have 53 int. We can actually use Comet. Um, this is the most damaging spell I have. That's 894 damage there. Um, it's expensive though. And it's expensive to the point where it's not really viable for me to use it to any extent. Compared to Glintstone Comet Shard. Which this costs 19 compared to 26. So it's not a massive difference less. But it is definitely cheaper. And you can see the damage here. That's 802. There isn't really much reason for me to use Comet when you compare those numbers. Yeah, so sorceries are good. Now, the reason that I have the staff in my left hand, it's not by preference. I would prefer to just have it in right hand so I could shield with the staff out. Um, but the unique ability of the Moonlight Greatsword temporarily increases your magic attack power. Not, not to an overwhelming degree. Not to an overwhelming degree, but if we... The buff lasts a while, so that's a plus. And then if I just do this... Actually, I don't even know if it does. That seemed to be an identical number. I don't know if that's bugged or if I just don't understand it.
Okay, but then that damage is just absurd. It might boost the magic attack power of the sword effect. In which case, I don't really... I don't really know... Well, I assume this, that effect is based on sort of your intelligence and your magic. Magic attack power is such an odd term that doesn't really appear anywhere else. But look at that damage. And this doesn't cost any FP. So, yeah, it's pretty fucking good. Uh, so I don't know. I guess if it doesn't actually boost my sorceries, then I don't care to do that. We'll just put it on her right hand and be happy about it. Oh, yeah, so that staff I got up to plus 23. Pretty good. Uh, all right, then. So with all that, we're pretty much set to continue on. And I think we're pretty much ready for the cap. But the only other thing is the Volcano Manor. And truth be told, I think we actually can do the Volcano Manor. Because I did go there when I was testing out stuff. I did come here to this brace. And uh, I just cleared out this stuff that I've already cleared out before. So, I think we're in a better position to actually do this. Let's go up here first. Oh, yeah, this was the bridge. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, oh, right. I killed the uh, the big drake thing. The, the worm down there that killed us a few times. Um, I mean, I'll admit that Latena definitely helped with that. It wasn't all just magic power. But it really was very easy. Between Latena shooting it and me just hitting it with like the great bow spell. Yeah, pretty pretty good. Alright, so we have to deal with uh, this thing. Look at that damage. Oh, fuck. Look at this damage. <laughs> well. Uh, yeah. The only way that would have worked is if we had one-shot it. And, uh, I think you need quite a bit of damage to do that. Those things still suck. So yeah, I mean, sorcery is just add some, uh, some nice versatility. Our build. Like, I could easily snipe that guy with the great bow. They're still not fun. They're still not fun to fight. But I think we are in our best position yet to actually kill them. So then you've got, like, these guys, which we could just rock. I mean, boom. No question about it. These dogs, you just... No, okay. No. Nah. 
That was me losing a lot of health for really no reason whatsoever. Alright, so I, I did switch off of the, uh... Gaining FP back from kills. It's such a minor amount that it's really not worth the talisman slot. Sad to say. Man Serpent Shield. Is that... No, don't you tell me. It's a small shield. Fucking. Uh. They hate. They hate the medium shield. I think they figure most people use medium shield. And so they don't want to make anything like too powerful. Because why would you ever use a great shield then? But then it's like, I don't know. I don't know, I guess. But then you just end up with the Brass Shield, which is the best shield in the game, apparently. So the Talisman we're using in that slot is the uh, Intelligence Booster, since that's just a straight upgrade for all my damage. No reason not to. Now, this is a situation. We're going to try just this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's just disgusting. And it costs no FP. I, I still can't get over that. It seems like... Because it seems like a weapon art. But the weapon art is just putting the buff on. It's absurd. I mean, it's not cheap to put the buff on, but it lasts a while. And it's definitely worth it. Erd Tree Seal. Uh, uh, mm, no, uh, nope, no, negative. It's not a tool, is it? Oh, it could be a talisman. Again, I never look. Uh, no. I don't see it here. What the fuck did I just pick up? Erd tree seal. Oh, it's a seat. God, I keep forgetting that's the name of the thing in this. Um, yeah, okay. Sea faith. It's probably just the best, like... No, oh, but the fingers... Oh, I guess it's plus two, but... I assume it's just kind of the best. Alright. Well, then I think we need to progress along the rooftops. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got doggos. I realize I'm carrying a torch. See you. The wary of left, likely archer. Okay. Jumping required ahead, but look carefully. I 
wanted to see that other guy do it. Ugh. Shit. Not a chance in hell. Well done. Great. Hurry of trap, therefore range battle. Oh, I got range. No one's doubting that. Explosion ahead. Weak foe ahead, we were... Oh, the little jars. Yes, 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 yes. Worse if they sneak up on me. See the big jar. Okay. One job. Uh, I did redistribute my flasks. I tipped one over to the. Uh... I don't. I don't know what it's called. The fucking Arctic, Arctic Breeze Gatorade or <laughs> whatever it is. The blue stuff. The blue drink. Smoldering shield. Oh, oh. It's a faith shield. Resist frost of the teeth can be even be used to deal fire damage if wield as a weapon. Yeah, they really like this idea of people using shields as weapons this time. There's a lot of shield bash skills. And... Shield only run. Could this be a treasure chest? I've failed. Try gesturing. Do I have that gesture? It's not a bow. Warm welcome. Is that what it is? No. It's like a... It's a prayer. No, it's a... I don't think I have whatever you're looking for. I have a what do you want. Yeah, okay. I don't think that's anything really. That would be a shitty jump to miss. No jumping ahead. Okay. I'm surprised I'm not seeing more blood stain. Do I think I can make that jump? I think you have to. Well, maybe not. If you fuck up that jump, you're a dead man. This might be the jump to make. We're coming at it from a better height. Oh, nice. Feels good. Feels good. Not that there's anything here. Seems familiar. So that over there 
Yeah, that whole area, that's where the worm is under there. There must be a way to get there. Must be a way to get there. You have to raise the bridge. Okay, well, for now. The only other thing is making this jump, but I really... I don't see any other way... Uh, but if you fuck it, and you have to go through all that shit again. Alright, let me just go back. Anything else going on here? Offer Elden Ring. Try throwing. Aha. Cast it into the fire! I don't know why that was kind of an Arnold thing. Anyway. Um, we're going to try these rooftops. There's some goodies up there. Cast it into the fire. Do it. Do it now. That would have been a very uh, interesting 90s Lord of the Rings. With the <laughs> Arnold as Elrond. Blood of Numenor is all but spent. Um. Ugh. Slash our way through this place. Get a little golden runes. And not much else. place is a little perplexing. How do I get all that going? Well, because even if I make that jump, all that's really there is an item. I mean, maybe it's like some key I need, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Usually you don't get stuck in this game. Alright, I guess we try this again. I mean, you can't... It's, it's not like you're gonna die. It's just... You're not going to make the fucking jump. But literally, that's all it is. It's just that platform. There's no doorway or anything like that. So, there's no other way to get to that item except this jump. Frankly, oh my god, I did it. Okay. That's acceptable. Watch me fuck that jump up. Okay. Um, was there any... There's this, but I don't think this is anything. 
read these lovely messages. Jumping, no jumping. Behold message. Brilliant. So unless there was an alternate way... Oh, God. It's fucking nothing. The only thing is this, which is some gesture, apparently. Which I don't have. Not that I really believe that, but it does stand out. Um, yeah, so we don't... We've already done all that. Getting up there, that's that's the ticket. Let's try this jump again. Good. Oh, there's <laughs> unfortunate messages over there. Uh, how much time do I want to spend just running around this place? Not much is the answer. Not much at all. I wonder if that's not anything over there. I doubt it. Shit. Okay, well then, um... I don't know. I guess we look it up. Just, we'll just look it up. You know, manner. Okay, let's see here. Guest hall? Did I do this? Yeah, I fought that thing. Oh my god. God, I understand now. So that elevator... Uh, well, I don't know if you remember. And I wouldn't remember, except I was just here recently when I was clearing it out. Um, but up here, there were the cages. The cage elevators. And I thought they both went down... So just like different, sl slightly different areas. I have no idea why I thought this. It's really dumb that I thought this. So these, this one goes down. This one, for some reason, I thought also went down. Oh, thankfully, this message is very helpful. This one goes up. <laughs> Obviously. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Well, whatever. Uh, okay. Be wary of underground and short time required ahead. It's not required. Okay. So we've got a guy here. He looks buff. Uh, how about we blast him with fucking great bow? Ooh. Try the boom blade. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, dead. Go. Probably could have just like comet sharded him, and he sharded. Yeah, 
we crack this bad boy open. Hidden path ahead. Probably not that hidden. I feel like that would be kind of hot to walk on. Okay. Boss gate over there. Boss ahead. First off, shortcut. This place looks pretty ominous. Oh, 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 Godskin Noble. Here we go. Don't waste all your FP. Okay. Oh, we can summon. Oh, well, then you're fucked, dude. This is going to be a much easier fight. I have fucking Latena here. Okay, well, she's sitting in the flames. That is... That was very unfortunate, I'll admit. I'd say that was a bit easier than our first try against that guy. Our first uh, encounter. Godskin Stitcher and Noble Presence. Alright. Noble Presence is a spell. A sorcery spell? No. No. Should be oh there it is. Thrust out belly with gusto to unleash repelling shockwave. Ancient power of the god skin nobles. Once a sign of the god's wrath, this incantation became a trophy of the noble's god hunt. Cool. And then the stitcher. It's a thrusting sword, I'm sure. Thrusting great sword? Uh, no, that's a peeler. We don't need the peeler. Where? It's a spear, maybe? It's a... Am I going blind? Oh, I must be going blind. I passed it up. Now I'm forgetting what it looked like. Oh, gosh. So many weapons. It was a weapon, right? 
Like, I'm not losing my mind. It was definitely a weapon. I thought I even looked at the symbol. Where's the search button? It was not the peeler, it was the stitcher. I saw it! Okay, if it's not a weapon, then what is it? If it's not a weapon, is it a... It's not a key... I thought I looked at the symbol. Hold on. Godskin Stitcher. Heavy Thrusting Sword. Heavy Thrusting Sword. There it is. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Alright, it's just a quality weapon. It can do impaling thrust. It, it's, it exists. I mean, okay. I mean, it still adds three damage to my weapon. Like, why would I not do that? It's too good. Serpent's Amnion. Amnion? Is, this... Is it like Ambien? Amnion from a womb that bore unintended offspring. Amien from the mother's womb which cradled the poor unwanted offspring of a repellent birthing ritual. It will never dry out, remaining damp indefinitely. <sighs> We're getting into some bloodborne territory here. Dead end ahead. I'll be the judge of that. Death ahead. Blood stain. Contraption does not move. Pride ch Boy, oh boy. I hope there aren't people that gullible in this world. I really, you know, I, I gotta stay optimistic about stuff like that. First off, well done. All the more bravery required ahead. Wary of high road. Seems familiar except no treasure chest ahead. It's like a dream. Very ominous. Give it that. Look carefully. Try jumping. Why? Why would you... Why would someone say that? No treasure chest ahead. It's a whole lot of nothing. Dung. Yeah, dung is right. What end? Seek Elden Ring and be wary of jumping. Oh, would you look at that? Down ahead. Show sure enough. Seek friend. that way, or there's slugs this way.
Visions of Elden Ring and then throwing. Only a precious item. Yeah, people seem to, to like making that joke. Uh, okay. I think that's probably the correct way to go, so let's go the other way, as always. Yes, you could, but that's nothing. That's where we were with the elevator. Fuck that. Whoop. Reason the Lord will wear a precious item. First off, pickle. Elden Ring, oh Elden Ring. Strong foe ahead, therefore be wary of rushing in. Okay. What am I going to do with that information? Be wary of ill omened creature. Ah, oh, you fucker. Just a tight battlefield, man. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh, come on. I'm hesitating too much. Great. What a shithole. I ain't got time for your funny business. I have things to do. We're supposed to finish up Volcano Manor in this video. Man, you can't even see it. I can see it. Come get me, motherfucker. Yeah, unfortunately, switching off of the sword, you lose the buff. Fuck. Fuck. I would have died there, man. Boy, he's really... He's really insistent. Oh, 
come on now. Fuck you! Ugh. Why are these things so annoying? Oh my god, they're terrible! Jesus. I think that's my least favorite enemy in the game. Ladder ahead. Ladder ahead. Yes, I suppose there is. God, it's sort of a question. Yeah, I mean, I see them. I don't remember what these things do. They shoot things back at me, I guess. It's not so bad. Unless we hit them with that comet. Then they'll be taught a lesson. Door ahead. Missionary's Cookbook 6. More things I definitely don't need. Holy proof dried liver. Which boosts holy damage negation. <sighs> yeah. I mean, maybe I'll use the fireproof one for whatever boss is in this place. Why is that guy putting messages over there? Hey, that's a cool weapon you got. Of course he's fire immune. Lives in fucking Volcano Manor. We could drop down. Okay, I just see the. Oh god, it's walking towards me. Alright, that was freaky. Elevator. a drop off halfway okay so now we have a shortcut back to the grace which is good uh 
Howdy. Okay, yeah, it was that was good. Here. Oh, sure enough. Wow, that was really not worth anything. Okay, I know I can go in there, but let's check over here real quick. Where ambush? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how do we want to approach this? Careful. Okay. Lovable sword ahead. The fact that there was an ambush this way, though, that tells me there's something worth looking into. Scheiße. Okay, how many kill how many hits with this? Oh god, three. I should have used the Moonlight Greatsword. Alright, hold on. Reevaluate. Are you gonna come out or? Angle. Why is the angle off the box? There we go. It's a one hit kill. Again, the angle's off the box. Oh, not worth it, but good. Yeah, I mean, the Moonlight Greatsword special is pretty much more powerful than any spell I have. I mean, I, I definitely think there are more powerful spells. I just don't have them. Seem, they don't seem to mind the fire, which is odd because I don't think they're immune to it. Fuck, what was that? Oh, they're filled with poison for some inexplicable reason. Why would that be so? Commoner's head bent. Well, now you're just fucking. Forgot already. <laughs> okay. That 
We cleared out. That was the elevator. So we're good there. We're good all there. So we could head back at this point. Refresh our flasks. Uh, yet I never like to do that. It sort of just invalidates. Well, no, not really. All right. Oh, hello. Yeah, you know, just nips that problem in the bud. That was a very uh that was a very Indiana Jones moment, wasn't it? <laughs> I think sorceries have a lot of those moments. Uh, this looks grand. Liar ahead. Something bulbous up there. Got a big old head. Well, there went that. I have kukris. <laughs> he was kind of freaky deaky. Where's that one guy up there attacking? Ah, oh, Latena, you are the best. No, 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 don't attack Latena. She is precious. You are not precious. Man serpent ashes. He'll instantly focus on her, and that makes you a big dumb shit. Pen is too good. Jump attack required ahead. Praise the monarch. I rump. Okay, so there's a stone sword door there. There's a portal here. Snake ahead. Probably takes you right to some massive snake. It's gonna eat my balls off. As enticing as that sounds, um, perhaps. We just trigger this first. Try right and then down. Yeah, I mean, that would certainly send you down. Target lock, therefore, time for bow. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, shit. Well... Bukri? Let's 
and is going to try to shoot him. He's a good girl. Um, I don't think he'll just fall off the edge, but maybe. I wasn't entirely out of FP. Blood loss, that's good. Kukri's are good, man. Done. Okay. Well. Shit. Must be able to get up. No, how the hell are they getting over there? That is a lot of blood stain. And I'm doing this just hopefully first try. then presumably you can just draw. There is loads of shit down there, though. Fuck. Skill required ahead. Yeah, no, no shit. Ah, fuck. Again, I don't know what they do if they catch you, but I hope to never find out. Yeah, if I just had... Uh, nah, I mean, if I had any FP, I would have already used it. So it's a moot point. Should stock up on Kukri's, though. They're kind of handy. Seedbed Curse. It's the second one I think I have, and I still don't know what to do with it. Presumably part of some quest line. Ash of War, Royal Knights Resolve, Old Codger. And now we're back in. Yep, there's those two. Okay, well, that's good. Still another way to go though. Ah oh, man, we're over an hour. Door. Be wary of here. Oh god. Uh where the hell is this? I don't want to fight that thing, but I want to know where the hell this is. Have I been here? Is this a known location? No, I haven't been here. It is a known location. This is right above. The bridge is right there. Shit. That's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. Shit. Uh, okay. 
I still have not reset things. So since it's the way is entirely clear. Before we end the video, let's step through the portal. Just so we know. I, I have a feeling it is going to be like some giant snake god boss we have to fight. As the epic conclusion to Volcano Manor. But. Might just be a grace over there. I don't know why I make, like, I don't know why I drag things out. Because it's like, as soon as I stop recording, I'm just going to start recording again. So it doesn't really matter to me. But, you know, I like to end on a, a cliffhanger, a high note. I guess not going through the portal is also a cliffhanger. And actually, by going through it, I potentially invalidate the cliffhanger. But fuck it, I want to know now. Let's do it. Aha. Aha. Alright, good. Perfect. That was actually really well done. I got here on one go around. Uh, more intelligence? Four damage! More intelligence. Epic. Also, more mine would not be terrible either. All right, we'll end it off here. Next time, we'll start with whatever snake monstrosity is through that gate. Good stuff. My name is Mang. Can't watch. This has been Elden Ring. See you fine folks in the next part.